we've got clear information and clear indications that Kai Havers is a national football player and we could definitely be seeing Declan Rice signing next. Hello everyone, it's been a little while. Uh, hello everyone and thank you for being part of uh, the Arsenal chapter and make your point subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss out on whatever we've definitely got to bring to you as long as it is sports and as long as it is Arsenal related right about here at the Arsenal chapter with me your host Abu Kals as we definitely talk sports and as we talk about what's happening in the camp of Arsenal. We've got quite great news coming in uh, from the camp of Arsenal with Mikel Atita having a press conference and saying a few things about the club and also about the transfers. Anyway, it will be remembered that Arsenal is on the hand of uh, mainly two football players that we are talking about today, and that's Kai Havis and also then Declan Rice. So it will be remembered. Uh, so whom should we start with? Should we start with Kai Havis or Declan Rice? Let's start with um, Kai Havis, Declan Rice. Mm, I think let's start with Declan Rice. We'll be remember that Declan Rice is an English professional football player uh, who plays for the English national team and has also been playing for West Ham United. And he's been one of the major football players that have brought victory to the club West Ham. With the fact that West Ham has won uh, the Europa Conference Cup, one of the major football players that have helped the club win the Europe, uh, Europa Europa Conference Cup is none other than uh, Declan Rice. So, looking at how this has been possible, him as a defensive midfielder is always trying to make sure that things are going on quite well for the club. As and also, uh, sorry, uh, West Ham, and also uh, for uh, West Ham, and also uh, him being the captain, he holds a big role in the club. And uh, the fact that he's also come out and said he is not going to be signing, he's not going to be signing a new deal with West Ham United, that seals it. And he's been, you'll remember that, he's been uh, looked for by quite a big number of clubs. There are very many clubs that are interested in the football player. And uh, some of these clubs are Manchester City, there is Manchester United, there is Arsenal, there is West Ham United, uh, sorry, no West Ham, Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea FC has also uh, been one of the clubs that have been interested in him. And not only has uh, he been a link to Premier League clubs, he's also been linked to away in Europe with clubs like Bayern Munich, Paris Saint-Germain, Barcelona, and also not forgetting that Atletico Madrid also had a mention about him, but he seems not to be interested. It's not even actually a sim. It's something that he said, he said he's not leaving the Premier League. So uh, definitely that shows you that Premier League clubs are out of this transfer. When it comes to Bayern Munich, Thomas Tuchel has always tried to make sure that he can get him in his club, but he's definitely failed. Things have not gone on quite well for Thomas Tuchel, and he's definitely not into a move. Declan Rice isn't into a move to uh, Europe. So uh, you can see Premier League clubs are the clubs that are now having the ball in their hands. And right about now, there's been uh, quite a lot. There has been a bidding war among us, uh, clubs in the Premier League. Premier League clubs almost Every club is interested in Declan Rice with the fact that there are a number of clubs that have put in bids for Declan Rice many bids have been rejected. It will be remembered that West Ham came out and said they need £120 million for Declan Rice. That's quite a lot of money, but when you see the experience, expertise, and also the time that he's uh, put in, uh, the, club that, uh, the time that the club has also put in to make him a good football player, you can, uh, for some reason, understand the quality of the football player, £120 million. But it's negotiable but when even when you say it's negotiable when uh, uh when the club has said they can uh for some reason uh lower down the price it's not going on quite well for a few clubs remembering that quite a big number of clubs have put in their bids Arsenal has had three bids rejected for Declan Rice but Arsenal is not any soon coming to uh, a conclusion saying they are not going to be having him at the club. We've got great news coming in. Anyway, 
before even we go any further, uh, bids have been rejected and there have been quite a number of deals for Declan Rice. Manchester City came on board and said they needed Declan Rice. They've tried to talk to West Ham United, but still they have not, uh, they have not got into any win. They have not won whatsoever. Then, uh, uh, because it's around 100 million pound uh, that West Ham are uh, that Manchester City is looking at and taking the financial muscle of uh, Manchester City M Manchester City has a bigger financial muscle than almost every other club that has been interested in them but also it does not go to what the club uh, what the player it doesn't go to what the player or even the club think about this transfer it's a combination of things if the club wants the money the player should also be willing to uh, go to the club it's a combination of things however having said that Declan Rice at one point in time came out and said whichever club comes out with uh, their right a right amount of money I'll definitely go with that as long as it is in the Premier League and as long as it is not in Europe he's okay with it but for some reason moving to Manchester City he's not very sure about that and then there is Manchester United that had a deal for Declan Rice and said they are giving away two football players for him they can exchange two football players and that is Scott McTominay and Harry Maguire Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay would be moving to West Ham and Declan Rice would make a swap deal two for one and as if that was not even enough Manchester United came out and said they would even be giving them quite a bit more money they would give uh, West Ham a bit more money and also add-ons so uh, you can see how marketable how he is on big demand there is quite a lot of demand for the football player and uh, then having said that Right about now, looking at how things are really moving, things are moving fast. Arsenal uh, has definitely not any plan. Arsenal hasn't any plan of giving up on this transfer. And recently, uh, Arsenal was preparing a 100, and 100 million pound bid. And uh, right about now, Arsenal is in a position of presenting that bid. And we are most likely going to be seeing this move getting done and dusted by the club Arsenal anytime from now let's get to yet another football player and we are talking about Kai Havis you will remember that Kai Havis is a German professional football player who plays as a forward for the Premier League club Chelsea and also the German national team he's been in the German national team for quite a big number of time we've got uh we've got uh quite a bit of information uh saying that uh he is already he is already uh, i mean you can't get anything on the websites on anything you can't get anything on the on the on the arsenal uh pages and stuff you can't get anything because it's not it official that he's signed but from sources inside the club arsenal it is being said that it is a deal that is done sealed and uh completed and i can take that and i can understand why uh people saying that and also uh, i think Mikel ateta linked the information because when he was asked about two football players uh he was as Mikel ateta was asked in a press conference he was asked about two football players that could be uh, making a move to the club arsenal number one when he was asked about declan rice because declan rice's transfer is not yet it still has a long way to go. I mean, Arsenal are trying to pass you the transfer, but it still has quite a big amount of time to go. And looking at, uh, looking at uh, how this is definitely moving on, uh, he said he's not uh, he's not going to be talking about transfers. He, uh, he's not going to be talking about football players that are not yet at the club. And for some reason, it's understandable, and I can understand him. And after that. He was asked about Kai Havis, and he said he is. Uh, he talked a little bit, a, a few things about Kai Havis, and that definitely showed you that Kai Havis is already a national football player. I know you cannot come to conclusion with that, but even from sources inside the club, Kai Havis has already signed. Is not it already put a pen, uh, put pen to paper? But everything is definitely almost done everything is done we are possibly just waiting for an 
official announcement of Arsenal saying that Kai Havis is an Arsenal football player. Let's see how this definitely rolls. It's two football players that we are talking about today. And one, it is reportedly said that he's already signed and that is Kai Havis. And yet the other is a reportedly almost almost signing with the club Arsenal. Please subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss out on whatever we've definitely got to bring to you as long as it is sports and as long as it is Arsenal related right about here at the Arsenal chapter with me your host Abu Kals. Thank you and goodbye for now.